how to manually enter transactions in your QuickBooks online account. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to enter a manual transaction to the account of QuickBooks. So the process is going to be very easy and simple. We're going to head over the platform of QuickBooks, sign in for your account, and then we're going to head over the left side of the screen which we are going to find the transaction section. We're going to click on transactions and it is basically going to give you the access to the chart of accounts, recurring transactions, rules, reconciliation and bank transactions. You can go ahead and add a bank transactions by adding your bank or connecting it. Then you're going to review and add your transactions as you can see manually and also or automatically. And do not forget that you can see here edit or modify something that you have added. Now, I do not have a bank account as you can see added right there. So it doesn't matter a lot. Now I'm going to switch up to the manual transactions that we are going to add to the chart of accounts. So let's say that we have a bank account, for example, and it is going to be added right away here. So you can add a new account and this account is going to be maybe uh, some assets, fixed assets, expenses, and etc. Now, what we're going to do next is going to choose the name of the account that we're going to add. The transaction for, for example, maybe I'm going to add uh, the inventory uh, transaction. So I'm going to click on the account history. It is going to open up the history of this account and we are going to add a deposit. We're going to give this deposit a date and also a reference number which is going to be, for example, a payee or a client, a deposit, which is going to be added to this specific uh, area or account. As you can see, I'm going to put the deposit like the cash and cash equivalent, or we can go ahead and have the uh, share capital bank charges or whatever. And then you can go ahead and give the, um, let's say here, the deposit a memo and the decrease, as you can see, um, let's say here um, a specific amount and you're going to have it like that. So we're going to put here one decrease is going to be one and it is going to give a tax code. So as you can see, this is how we can add a, a specific, um, let's say transaction manually. Now I'm going to be back to the transactions, head over the account or short of accounts and maybe you're going to add the transaction manually to another thing. So let's head over a bank, which is going to be here, cash and cash equivalent. We're going to head over a check and we're going to do the same thing. As you can see here, it is going to have a transaction. And what we're going to do now is going to add another check or we can go ahead and add a deposit. So I'm going to have here a deposit, which is going to have a payment of maybe a thousand dollar and a deposit of a thousand dollar. The tax code is going to be, for example, someone like that. And as you can see, you're going to have everything set up like that. Now for the memo, you can go ahead and customize it as much as you want. And for the deposit, it is going to be on the uh, bank right there, cash and equivalent. The name is going to be, for example, this client and we're going to save it. So it is going to add the initial value right there. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.